Well, hello. Thank you. Happy to be here. Uh, this is a real. This is a real treat for you guys. <laughs> I know a lot of fans have come to see me tonight. But I should tell. I should uh, let both of you know. <laughs> I'm not a dirty. I used to be a very dirty comedian, and I'm, and I'm not anymore. You know, because I realized something. Yeah. <laughs> it's not authentic to who I am because in my real life. I'm not dirty at all. I'm actually kind of a prude. I didn't even get tea bagged till I was in college. <laughs> it's a true story. It's embarrassing. Put it out there. I'm a mom now. That's what, you know, I had a baby. I had a baby, um, I want to say two years ago. <laughs> Between two and three, I'm pretty sure of that. You know what happened? Like around 17 months, I totally lost track, and I just never figured it out again. When she gets older, I'm gonna let her pick how old she wants to be. Yeah. My husband is like in love. He's, he's the proudest, proud. This is an impression of my husband walking with our daughter. I know, it's adorable. It's a, he thinks it's his. Aw, it's so, yeah, yes. I love seeing them together, it's so adorable. I'm not gonna tell him. I just dyed her hair the same color as his. Dark brown with a little gray on the side. She's very distinguished. Very distinguished baby. <laughs> Does change your life having a kid. I know that sounds cliche, but it really it really does, it is in a, look, I've had like a lot of really amazing things happen in my life. Uh, she is like top 25, <laughs> easy. Hummus and then her, <laughs> isn't it good? It's so bloody good, it's just chickpeas. <laughs> I'm a vegan, so I'm remarkable. Um, yeah, that requires booing. Um, <laughs> it's hard, you know, no animal or animal byproducts, uh, and it's, uh, it's tough, but I, I do cheat a little. I eat veal. It's just, it's so good. It's so tender. How do they get it like that? I don't know. I don't care. It's delicious. I would never buy any product, though, that's been tested on animals. I would never, never. I like to do that myself at home. <laughs> you know, really make sure the control group is isolated. You don't know what they're doing in these labs. A lot of college kids. Are you live blogging, sir? Um, I'm doing a television show. I, uh, I'm a, you know, this is the thing, I'm passionate about things. I'm a, I'm a feminist. I'm, yeah, hold your applause. I am, I've, I've been called a feminazi, I don't even care. I am a feminazi. I love women, I hate Jews. <laughs> am I right, ladies? Am I right, ladies? No, I'm married to a Jewish man, so. It's probably where the hatred comes in. <laughs> that's probably how it all started. My husband is also a comedian. People think that's crazy. Like, oh my God, two comedians in the same house. What's that like? What's gotta be not? They don't talk like that. Um, but they think it's nuts. The truth is our lives are better than yours. Yeah, okay. It's two comedians in the same house. Of course it is. We don't like to bring our work, we don't like, we don't sit around laughing. We don't like to bring our work home with us. What we find entertaining is we scare each other. Um, like one time I hid in the kitchen for like 45 minutes till he came down. I scared the pants off him, it was amazing. And then one time he told me he had AIDS. <laughs> that was very scary. It went on for two years. I'm really into charity. Anybody else? Really into um, getting free money? Yeah. 
I love it. There's so much you can do with it. I give money to homeless people. I can't help it. I just, I always, I can't pass a homeless person without giving, I almost gave you money. I cannot pass a homeless person without giving them money. And I know you're not supposed to, everybody knows, you're not supposed to give homeless people money because I think we all know what they want to spend the money on, a home. <laughs> the last thing we need is more high-risk buyers in the market right now. <laughs> We have a semi-black president, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Because now we can talk openly about race, which is, you know, I just think it's, I, I guess I should come clean on my background. I'm Caucasian, <laughs> which is just a fancy word for superior. <laughs> no, not anymore. Those good old days are over. No, listen, I make jokes, but I really am racist. Subtle, but it's there. I have a friend, a very good friend of mine, uh, a black man, and he's like one of my best friends. He's black or he's Puerto Rican or Dominican. Um, he thinks, he's accused me of raising my baby to be racist because whenever she is around him, she starts to cry. And so he, he's, he thinks, I'm, I've tried to explain to him, I am not raising my daughter to be racist. She was born like that. You can't teach a kid that stuff, you know. They either have it or they don't. <laughs> and she has it. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. And this was her argument. She goes, what if one of those illegal immigrants that we see in the neighborhood tries to break into the house and rape me? I'm like, what do your fantasies have to do with this? <laughs> Never hear your fat friend say something like, no, I really shouldn't. <laughs> you walk with your fat friend, middle of the night, you want to stop for some pizza? Hell yeah.